Let's get clear first. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just get one thing out of the way. This is a fairly common issue. People trip themselves up on this issue. I don't want you to take this training and make this assumption. Please understand that there's a big difference between self-confidence and self-esteem. They are not one and the same. Do not confuse these two concepts. The Essence of Self-Confidence Self-confidence is your attitude and your belief in your ability to get things done. This impacts your estimate of how likely you are to succeed. This also affects how you feel when things don't go right. If you put this all together, it is no surprise that your self-confidence plays a big role in whether you're going to try an activity over and over again until you succeed. Self-esteem, on the other hand, is all about your opinion of your value as a person. That's all it is. It is your esteem or your estimation of your value as a person, who you are, what you're about, what your capabilities are, and what your capacities may be. Two totally different things. Your self-confidence is about your ability. It impacts whether you are going to try something and how hard you're going to try. It also affects how often you're going to keep trying until you achieve a breakthrough. Oftentimes, it determines whether you're going to try at all. Again, these are not one and the same. Do not confuse them. A lot of people think that as long as they fix their self-esteem, self-confidence will flow. I'm telling you that is the fatal logic flow made by the self-esteem movement in the United States. We have so many people running around with a very high estimate of their worth as human beings. This is a good thing. I am not going to deny them that. However, the problem is this is a hollow assumption. They assume it coming in. It's kind of like a door prize. When they show up, they automatically put on the jacket labeled self-esteem. So far, so good, right? Well, here's the problem. You can have a very high view of yourself, but that is no substitute for knowing the right thing at the right time with the right people to produce the right outcomes. Far from it. You can think that you are the second coming of Albert Einstein, but if you did not practice your quadratic equations and your calculus, you're going to flunk out on that test. This is not rocket science. Sadly, a lot of people think that as long as they have self-esteem achieved through whatever means, they are going to get self-confident. They are going to be able to do things eventually. They have enough mental and emotional equipment to get things done. Unfortunately, that has not been the case. Whatever success you may have been able to achieve tends to be shallow, short-lived, and unsustainable. You can't for the life of you achieve that same success the next day and the day after that. However, that's not good enough. As you probably already know, the world rewards sustainable ability to get things done. The worst part of self-esteem is that it's subjective. I have value because I think I have value. I feel the right emotions. I feel good about myself. I can see myself doing all these things. I am somebody. That's great. That's awesome. It's definitely nice to hear. But you know what? The world doesn't care about what you think. It couldn't care less about your feelings. What it pays attention to is what you do. Can you do the job right? Yes or no? Can you show up on time? Yes or no? Can you do whatever it takes for however long it takes to achieve a certain result that needs minimal standards? Yes or no? That's the level the world operates on. Everything else is noise. Real, sustainable, and unshakable self-esteem must be built on object reality. I've got some bad news for you. If you think that self-esteem is just something that somebody can give you because they say, try your very best, I know you can do it, you are special, and don't let anybody make you think otherwise. Those are great words, but the problem is if you buy into that hook, line, and sinker, you develop hollow confidence. It's only a matter of time until that confidence starts to crumble like a brittle biscuit under the weight and pressure of reality. Again, reality doesn't care about your feelings. Reality doesn't care how much time, effort, and tears you put into something. When the test comes, you better come out on top. Otherwise, you fail. That's all there is to it. It's black and white, yes or no, zeros and ones. It's a binary reality out there regardless of what other people tell you. This is why real self-esteem must be based on competence. Competence is proven. Competence can be measured. Competence, most importantly, produces results.